Good morning. Thursday, June 9th, 2022, 7.25 a.m. on the East Coast of the United States. You know, I was thinking, what should I do this morning on my coffee live? And I thought, you know, let me have a coffee that I haven't had for a while. So let me show you where we're going to go for coffee this morning. Okay, let's see. We want a map. Let me get a map of the world here. All right. So look, this is part of the world, all right? Here we are. Here's the United States, South America. We're going to go to Jamaica. Okay, now let's look at my atlas here. Jamaica, okay, here's Florida sticking down here, okay? Here's the Bahamas, here's Cuba, here's Haiti and the Dominican Republic. There's Jamaica right down there below Cuba, west of Haiti. Okay, now here's another map. Let me show you this. Here is the island of Jamaica, okay? You probably heard of Kingston, okay? On the eastern part of the island are the Blue Mountains, and that is where wonderful coffee is grown. It's so wonderful. Well, you know, you saw how small of an island that was and how small of an area Jamaica takes up in the world. It's pretty tiny. So the coffee that comes from there is usually pretty expensive. And in fact, let me get out my... Okay. So the Nespresso Special Reserve Blue Mountain, Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee. This, when I bought this, I believe it was $2 a capsule, so $20 for a sleeve, something like that. It was pretty expensive anyway, and it's one of these fancy, you know, it opens like this, really pretty capsule. Now, this coffee is an intensity of seven, but I have read other reviewers, I mean like, not reviewers like me, reviewers who are, you know, trained in this sort of thing and all, um, they have all kinds of training and they know all this coffee stuff. And what a lot of them have said is that to them, it seems uh, much more intense, but very smooth. And I thought, you know, in rereading some of these reviews, I thought, let me try this again and see what do I think of it because it's been a while. So let's push the espresso button. And Nespresso recommends that you can have this as a ristretto, which is 0.845 fluid ounces or 25 milliliters or as an espresso, which is what I usually do, or as a lungo, which is 3.71 fluid ounces, or 110 milliliters. Okay, so here we go. I made it as an espresso. I'll taste the crema. You know, something that I've been noticing in reading coffee reviews by people who, you know, have been trained in how to review coffee. They talk about the feel of the crema in your mouth. And now thinking back, because I always taste the crema, they said that the crema is kind of thin in your mouth. And yeah, it is. It's not like a, you know, thick, it looks thick and fluffy, doesn't it? But it's not. It's got a sort of a thin feel, and it's very pleasant. So for a coffee with an intensity of seven, to have 
you know, the crema not be like, you know, like that. Okay, let me give it a whirl here. If this is uh, supposed to be woody and spicy, some reviewers have said even peppery. Let's see. This is very good. Oh my gosh, do you know, having this with something on the side that's a little sweet, not a real heavy sweet, just a little sweet, oh, that would be really nice. Mm -hmm. I th and the reason I say something just a little sweet is because I think that if you had something real sweet, the um, sweetness would overpower all the subtleties in this flavor. Mm. To me, this is a sipping kind of espresso. It's really, really quite good, and I'm surprised that, well, it's absolutely true. Um, it doesn't have any bitterness just has coffee taste to it. Mmm. I've never been to Jamaica, but I tell you, if I go, I want to go see those Blue Mountains. And in fact, there's a Blue Mountains National Park there. Wow. Mmm. Would I want to put milk in this? Actually, I think putting milk in it might ruin it. Oh, but I'm wondering, could it stand up to milk? All right, look, I've got more of it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead. I wanted to make this a short video this morning because I went so long yesterday. It is gonna be short, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead I'm just going to heat up a tiny bit of milk here because, you know, this is such a small amount of coffee. I'll heat this up. I'm not going to use all of it, though. It's such a small amount of coffee, and I don't want to um, put in cold milk. Let's see, it's a tiny amount of milk, too. Let's try. I'll try 15 seconds. Let me pop this back in the fridge. So... See, look at how that's so such a small amount of coffee. Um, if I go ahead and put in cold milk, I'm going to be drinking pretty much cold coffee. Okay, let's see if this is heated up enough. Mm, mm hmm. Okay. So, what? How much do I have here? I've got about one and three quarter ounces here. I am just going to put, okay, tiny little bit there. Let's see how that is. Now it changes the taste, but you know what? I think it could stand up to a little more. Give this a try. Mmm. You know, that's okay. How much did I put in? Oh my goodness, I only put in about a quarter of an ounce. Should I put in some more? I'm gonna do it. Okay, so this will be, how much is that? Let me put in a tad more. Oh, here I'm making a mess. All right, so all together, this would have been about three quarters of an ounce that I put in. I don't know, I should maybe take a few drops off for what I spilled. Okay, let me try this. This is still good. Well, I, I'm surprised because now, certainly I was tasting more 
subtleties when it was just black. But it tastes good with the milk too. It can stand up to that milk. You know, uh, I saw this uh, YouTube video of these two Jamaican guys making a frappuccino kind of thing using the, uh, well, not using the Nespresso, but using Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee and uh, which they had whole beans and they ground them in a blender. Um, but anyway, they made a frappuccino. I'm thinking if you made two or three of these capsules, you could make a really fine ice drink with milk or cream or even ice cream. But anyway, this is really good. Hmm. Like I said, I was gonna make it quick this morning I hope you have a good day. And, you know, I feel like even though the Jamaica Blue Mountain is so expensive, it's really been fun trying it, and it's very enjoyable. Now, this came out in, I think it's in the fall of 2021, or the last time it was released, anyhow. And how many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've only had three cups out of this <laughs> since the fall. I'm just really, you know, portioning it out. Um, I don't want to spend this much money again, but I also don't want to run out very quickly. But it is, I think it's worth trying, you know? It's worth a little splurge because it is a special coffee. Well, look, I'm just nattering on here. We all have things to do today. Y'all have a good day.